Welcome everyone, my name is Sue Chef Ledoux, um, here at Traditions at WMU campus here. Um, here we feature uh, home style homemade items um, in the morning featuring eggs, omelets to order, uh, from smoked briskets in, in the afternoon and, and our rotisserie chickens, um, which smells up the place with the entire smoke from the briskets and the smoker. It's, it's phenomenal, you guys have to come check this out. Uh, I'd love to take you behind the scenes just to get a good look at everything and see how we operate and see how we do with the smaller portions uh, that we're featuring here so that people can get a chance to sample uh, other, other items that we have in other venues. So, follow me. <laughs> we actually cooked about 160 pounds of pork. We put it in, it takes uh, 14 hours to smoke. Uh, it actually smokes for eight hours and then the smoke turns off and it continues cooking for another six hours. Yeah, what we'll do after the 14 hours, you know, we'll let it sit in the, uh, in the smoker a little longer. Uh, you don't want to open it quite yet until you're really ready to, to chop it, you know, let it pull it and let it and serve it. Otherwise, you're going to lose some moisture and it's going to start drying out. So we wait until the last minute. Uh, like this, you can still see it nice and moist. You can smell the flavor. We, you know, we rubbed it with the mesquite. So it's very, very nice, very flavorful pork. The rotisserie, see how it spins around here? The flame is actually not doing a lot of the cooking. Uh, well, we have a two heating elements on the, on the side here, but it does make for a good show and it does keep the, the chicken uh, uh, warm. Well, while it's resting, I just turn the dowels down here and it'll continue to go around and rest and, 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 and redistribute the juices so we can cut them without being uh, dry.